episode 70 of Social Girl Live. We did it. We made it to our 70th episode. We are going to be talking about, I got my speech bubble signs because they're so fun. We're going to be talking about, I have to like try not to hide my face, um, a brand new Facebook page and group feature that I just saw yesterday. So if you're a VIP member, you already know about it. If you are paying attention to what I'm posting in the group, if you haven't checked into our members only group, then you might not know about it. So yesterday, Facebook rolled out top fan badges to Facebook pages and groups that are admin by your page. So if your page is an admin on your group, you might be both an admin as your page and as your personal profile, which is how I admin my groups, um, then you have this feature in your group too. And it's pretty cool. It's very timely because last week's show, you guys have to definitely go back and check that out. I talked about harnessing the power of gamification for your direct sales business. So this is, um, you know, I'm always bringing you new stuff, right? So this is pretty, pretty new to the direct selling industry is using gamification, which we see a lot. In fact, when I was talking about it last week, somebody um, commented, I forget who it was now, that their child, I think like under the age of five, was playing a learning game on their computer and was getting like points and, and badges for reaching certain levels. So we can harness that too. We can tap into that. And so let's do a little screen sharing. So you can find it both on, that's my Facebook page, and if you are mobile view, you'll see it um, in the same place. It's in your community tab on both your page. And I recommend that you use the pages app to manage your page on mobile. It makes it a whole lot easier for you. So if you don't already have that, it's free. It's, again, it's another app from Facebook and it's just a matter of downloading it. It is um, again called the pages app uh, for Facebook pages. And when we talk about pages, we mean business pages. And it's a little orange flag, so pretty easy to find. And I can tell you, um, I shared it in, again, my VIP mentoring community. And the reaction really surprised me. I mean, I know how powerful simple things like badges, remember, they cost you no money. So <laughs> when we talk about using this kind of recognition, it's not the cost. It's not the price if you're thinking, oh, gosh, what can I do for recognition? And you're out like shopping at thinking you need to buy coach purses. No, it's not about the value. It's about how you make people feel. So we know that this is just a basic human need, right? We need to feel appreciated. We need to feel valued. Literally, it is in our DNA. And this is how you can use badges to tap into that. So there's my page. So I already have it queued up to the community tab, and you can find that right here in your left sidebar. You see where it says community? Have you ever clicked on that? So we're, we typically think of a Facebook group as a community, but really Facebook is almost making your page and your group think, I really want you to think of that as one big community. And I really kind of switched over to that focused gosh, about two years ago, started running my page more like a group, more with that community feeling in terms of the content that I was sharing. Starting this show is an example of it, you know, really providing a, a ton of value and connecting more with my fans. And live video is a great way to do that. You guys have that watch the show frequently. You know, I see your, your pictures popping up in the comments and I feel like we're besties. So, Here's the community tab on my page. You can see that in my left sidebar. So I already have clicked on it, okay? And at the top now, this is brand new, it says top fans. 
And Facebook is telling me that they're going to update my top fans weekly and I can view and manage the list right here, right in my community tab. By the way, underneath that are visitors posts. So if you wonder where you can find the post that your visitors post about you when they come to your Facebook page or maybe they tagged you somewhere, it's in your community tab. You can see photos and other things that people are posting about you. Pretty cool, right? So it looks like I only have three, but guess what? I have a whole lot more. <laughs> so you could see these all say new, new top fan, new top fan, because Facebook just rolled this out last night. So now if I click see all, there's a little see all right there and it opens up, look at this. This is my top fan list. And again, I gotta click more again. Many of these are members of our of my mentoring community or my elite mastermind program. And it's a long, it's a pretty long list. So so exciting. And of course, like I said, everybody is new, new top fan because this just happened. So as Facebook updates this, I'm sure we'll see, you know, how they are identifying top fans into the future. So you just click on the see more and you can scroll down. So this is one way that you can then reward your top fans for engaging and interacting in your page. So you could use that list and just do fun random prize drawings, which I'm actually going to be doing to kick off our brand new top fan badge. And that badge carries with you in the group that's linked to your page. So when my top fans comment on a post in my group, when I am posting as my page, so posting as a million dollar party girl in my group, and my top fans comment, their badge stays with them. So it's top fan badge right on their comment. So pretty fun, right? A really great way to get that engagement going. You'll actually get a notification. So I found out about it because I went to my Facebook page and there was a notification about the brand new top fans badge. So they'll let you know, hang in there. But you might, um, you know, have a top fan badge for somebody else. So the more you're focusing on content, thinking of it as building community, the more of those top fans that you will then start to see coming into your page. So really fun way. And then I would do just fun prize drawings to recognize those top fans. You know that's recognize what you want repeated, right? So who does not want to earn their top fan badge? And like I said, I will be doing that exact same thing. Okay, so what else? So I mentioned um, I shared this concept last week in my Social Girl Live show, just kind of touching base on it. Um, we talked about badges and quizzes and other forms of incorporating that gamification into what you're doing. So I actually um, have put some of, I made some badges. I put them into my secret Facebook group. That's the group that I use when I want to test things out. And I'm going to show you some examples right now of how you can take this concept and use it in your group to then drive interaction, engagement, action, and results make learning fun, make it fun for people to refer you, to tell other people about you, and really help um, you drive that business that you wanna get. Here's some examples, and then, you know, Facebook has made this so awesome for us in our groups with the addition of announcements. So if I click on these three dots right here, I can mark this an, as an announcement and you see it says announcements and then it stays at the top. There we go. It now has switched over to announcements and then it stays at the top of the page. So new members coming into your group, see that at the very top of your group feed. So here's one, business builder, right? Don't you want consultants that and leaders that are business builders? So, and I just, this is just a, a, an example. Shout out to business builders who are making dreams come true. Your team is growing. 
And of course you decide what the, uh, you know, the requirement is to be a business builder. Maybe it's a team who sponsored five new consultants in a month, right? That's a business builder or a leader that moved up in rank. That's a business builder or for your customer group. Maybe it's somebody that is sending referrals to you and helping you build the business or referring somebody outside of the area, helping you in expand into a brand new state. And then all you have to do is tag their names, right? Right in this post. And then you can update that every month. So there's your recognition, driving the results that you want right at the top of your group. This is so simple, but so powerful. An ambassador could be an ambassador for your team group. Maybe somebody that you delegate to be helpful to help answer questions, a future leader, right? So that's where you can recognize your ambassadors for your uh, customer group. An ambassador, again, could be somebody that is referring hostesses or referring customers or maybe referring friends to join your group, right? So that's another way to add more group members is to recognize it. At the end of the year, you have a whole list of everybody that you have tagged throughout the year that has become an ambassador of your personal brand. And then you can do a really fun end of year, you know, special event for everybody that has earned their badge on your team or in your customer group. And you literally just keep adding to the list. Makes it so easy. There's your year end recognition. And how about a record breaker category? Right. So many times we recognize the top, but instead, and of course, you always want to recognize the top. Right. But many times when you do that, it's always the same people. Right. And you want to drive other people to strive for more that maybe feel like, oh, gosh, I could just never get that. So a record breaker award is um, really important to drive people to go beyond an achievement that they have done before. So if somebody's highest sales, you know, it could be as simple as their highest sales were a thousand dollars and they broke the record. They had maybe a $1,300 month. Well, they can be a record breaker just as much as that top sales who's maybe selling $10,000. And so of course I wouldn't just do sales. I would do helping others to start a business also known as sponsoring or recruiting. Maybe somebody sponsored three people and they had their record breaking month was five. So that's where you really help your team stretch a little bit more, right? Go for more. In your customer group, it could be a hostess that beat her highest show ever. So if you had a hostess that had a thousand dollar party, maybe this year she had a $1,200 party. So that can be a really fun way to recognize both in your customer group and your uh, team group. Here's another idea, party rock star. Definitely wanna recognize that consistency on your team. And again, this could also be for your hostesses, maybe a hostess that has two parties a year or three parties a year with each new catalog, right? Recognize those, those hostesses that come back for that repeat party. And then in your team group, how about recognizing those party rock stars, consultants and leaders who held four plus parties last month, or maybe it's six parties or eight parties. You know, it's up to you what the stand, what you are going to set the standards for, for your team. But trust me, <laughs> people are going to want to have their name on this list and get their badge. And then here's another one, Elite Hostess. I always recommend an Elite Hostess Club. That's a great way to get those hostesses to go for more. And whatever your party average is, just add $100 to it. If your average party is $400, then your Elite Hostess should be a $500 party. And I also recommend a multiple booking component so that they're not just focusing on sales, but also those multiple bookings. All right, 
So there are just some badge ideas for you. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you share this with anyone that you think would love to learn these ideas. Mm -hmm.